What's up everybody, it's Blaze from Funbucks here. Let's continue on with just a bit of a filler video for this one. What we're going to do is, if I just start up the game for you, is instead of having all of this debug code, I want to reduce that as much as possible. So what we're going to do, yes, I did um, enlarge the sprites so we can see them a little bit easier. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add some sort of indicator so that we know we can see very easily which unit is currently selected. Um, this isn't part of the plan. Uh, it's a bit on the fly, so it's completely unscripted. Not that any of my videos are scripted, but uh, l l let's just uh, reduce as much of this of this um, debug message uh, as much as we can. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a new sprite here. I'm going to call mine V indicator. And what this sprite is going to do is it's just going to show us which unit is currently selected. And I'm going to set my origin from the top left to the top right. The reason why I do that is if we have a look here at the idle animation here, our origin is in the top left. My aim is for this indicator to be on the left side of our sprite. So obviously if the uh, origins are at the same, i.e. if they're at X and Y, then it's naturally going to look like it's offset, right? It'll become clear. If it's not clear now, it will be hopefully by the end of this video. All right, so let's just close that out for now. Again, if it's not clear to you now, Hopefully it'll be by the end of the video. I'm going to set my width and height to 32 and I'm just going to draw a very simple triangle. I know that there's a triangle tool, but I kind of don't like using it. I prefer to draw these triangles on my own. All right, so just a very, very simple indicator here, nothing special. And that's basically done, right? So if you're following this, one one to one then make sure that your origin is in the top right and hopefully if everything goes well we will be able to draw a new sprite on our screen and reduce all that debug code so the first thing that we're going to do is in our unit what we're going to do is we're going to add in a new new variable and we're going to call this selected keep it simple guys and we'll set it to false to start off with. And then in the draw event, we are going to check if the this current unit is selected, then we're going to draw this indicator sprite. That's basically it. Remember what I said about the origins, right? I want it to draw basically next to my character on the left side. So let's leave that there for now. And that's basically done because in the next step, we're going to go into the manager's step event. And here where we select the unit in this uh, second for loop, what we're going to do is we're going to read the instance dot selected equals true well done we're not completely finished though because the next step that we're going to do is go into the wait phase and after the unit has finished their turn we're going to go ahead and say global dot selected selected unit dot selected hopefully you guys aren't getting confused selected is we're going to set it to false very, very simple, guys. Let's run the game now. And you can see here that we have our arrow drawn, right? And every time we click, he plays his animation and then the next unit gets selected. And then the next one, and then the next one, and back to the start again. So where we can now get rid of this combat phase section. Oh, we can we need to keep that because we still actually need it, but we can get rid of this much 
um, debug code. So now when we play our game, there's a lot less to look at here in the top corner and we have more visual feedback. It makes it easier. So that's it for this video. It's super quick. I just wanted to add this on uh, into the rest of the videos that I had. In the next section, we will actually start with doing damage to other units. It's going to be a little bit longer than uh, the the other sections that we've done so far, but Naturally, in this kind of system, a damage, an attack and damage system is going to take up most of the time. So stick around for that, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next section. Bye-bye.